What is up, everybody? This is Jolly on 420 and we're back to Final Fantasy VII of 1997, Part 3, The Shitrod Building. Now, if you recall, we made it to the port that we rescued, uh, we got to Sector 7, however, at the cost, we lost Biggs, Wes, and Jesse, and the people of Sector 7 slums due to Avalanche's continued bombing effects of the Mako reactors. Enraged, Shira himself ordered the, uh, the Turks under orders of Higer to destroy Sector 7 to crush Avalanche. And another bit of recap Aerith was captured in order to protect Marie Wallace's freedom. We now made it past Walmart, I mean Walmart kit, and we're now at the Sherman building. Now, let's go save a friend. Really? You're gonna ask if they have an appointment when you see a dude with a mechanical arm that can turn to a Vulcan? Lady, you need glasses. I <laughs> need an appointment, it's an emergency! <laughs> yeah, get the hell away from there. <laughs> let's see what we find. Alright, I find a couple more grunt soldiers. But these guys, they got grenades. So? We're in a row! Hmm, looks like they take a little more damage than I thought. Alright, doesn't matter. Grenade commands sometimes will drop you your potions or grenades, hence their name. Now, we can go on to the next part, like go down to the elevators back here, but I want to go to the accessory store. Well, what would be the accessory store? Why that rude? You assume they're gonna jack you with money? What the hell is wrong with you, lady? That's just profiling. See? He ain't so bad. Very happy to be a good guy when you get him on his good side. Somewhat. <laughs> okay. Can I take a hairball stage? Hard did. Let's get a couple tents. Okay. That should do it. Thank you and come again. Because, yeah, we're gonna be complaining to your boss, lady. <laughs> Alright, let me take a look at my material reports. I think I kind of... No, I didn't. I just it. No, I need high strength. Yeah, I'm planning to keep barriers with strength build. I'm not going to give me any material until like I have to. Let me still layer. Anyway, go over here. Start the elevator. And we see Cloud Regrade what it says it was earlier. Sorry about that, dude. Me too. So go Arch Council. Yep. I think that's when Varage starts turning around, seeing Cloud's a new life right there. He knows that Cloud is an asshole, but he knows that he ultimately cares about people he saved and helped out. Oh boy. What did you press, Cloud? <laughs> okay, here we can't help it. There are a couple floors here you'll see an executive try to get in, but you'll walk away. But whenever you open the door here... It's at random, like, five to six fights. Oh, these guys are annoying. I hate these guys. Jerk. that thing without even him breaking off his armor. We get those uh, red guys down to halfway dead, they'll rip off the armor to be a little more faster and harder to hit. People like Tifo or Magic are the only things that can hit those things. Yeah, that high invasion. Oh, sorry about that, folks. Like here, like I told you, there'll be an executive here, like some numbers that you'll just say, oh man, I'll get the next one. <laughs> That'll be the only breed that you get. 39. Okay. But we 
fine here. Ooh. Camera blaster. Oh. Crap. Oh, he woke himself up. I didn't see that, I forgot. The hammer blasters have the ability to put confusion stats on your party if they hit them hard enough. And if they're confused, the only way you're going to wake them up is you have them attack themselves, or you just use a new uh, Remedy or Ruza. But if you don't have those, we got to hit them. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, it's like Team Bear and Hitman Bridge. Come on, level 46. Look at that monster. Yep. Ooh. Ooh, he got a bitch left. Couldn't steal anything. Blast hammers are weak against thunder, but I like struggling. Oh, I very do love something. All right, that's it. 104. Oh, doesn't even tell me it's normal to white. One second, folks, I'm gonna uh, give the stream a little bit of an interruption. One second. Alright, got more. Oh, holy. I don't know if that stuff's any good, but I want some. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Being a little silly there. One fight you gotta take care of in here. Now, if you took the stairs, this is where you'll come out after you climb like freaking 50 flights. Of them. I don't know how many there are. These guys are scripted. You're not gonna avoid them, so you're gonna have to fight. Them. One hot second, someone just PM me on Discord. I want to see what they're saying. It's so very important to me. <laughs> yeah, like right there. Now that thing's gonna be a little more harder to hit. So, fortunately, our best weapon to hit him would be your magic, explosives, or high accurate weapons like Barrett's uh, gunfire that he has to be 225. Okay, got him. All down. See? Try to hit him physically too much. I won't want to hit him as Barrett. Wait, I mean, why is he holding him in the back? Oh, I think I got caught in the back. Card 60. Okay. 
here's part of the game's, uh, this area's, uh, objectives. Certain floors, you gotta get car keys to unlock the elevator. Speed the elevator. Your goal is to get to level 66. First part. So, we'll go to level 61. Just talk to these two and the ride goes fast. Bear will say don't get scared, Tifa worried about Aerith. Really? He's gonna fall asleep when someone's attacking the building? Yeah, that dude does not deserve hazard pay. He deserves getting ass kicking. <laughs> okay. I don't know who those guys are or what they're doing over there, but they're gonna just block you. Ooh. This next part gave me trouble when I was a kid. Our part here is we gotta sneak past these guys. The first portion is to get to that built that block over there. You cannot let them see you. Just run your butt off in the first portion. Now, this is where it gets a uh, little. Ugh. You gotta wait for them to come, and you gotta call Barrett and Tifa over to you. One spot, you gotta fight a two-on-one, uh, three-on-one fight. Like two in front and back. A uh, back uh, attack on both sides. There it was. It's pretty simple. At least for the first part for Barrett and Tifa. So don't stress it too much. It's the second portion that gets a little. Bleh. After like 10 tries, you'll be fine, but you won't get anything special. Okay, now we're back to Cloud. Now these guys are a little more challenging because they're going to be running. There we go. Ball bear it over. Get in there, big guy. Now we deal with Tifa. Come on, baby girl. Get in there! Close one. <laughs> yeah, shouting me right by the enemy. You idiot. Okay, go up to level 61. Now as you can see, door is open, so you don't have to worry about the car key here. You gotta talk to this guy who's wandering the elevators. Don't ask where Aerith is. Just be mute, and he'll assume you're part of Shimmer Company. Dumbass, he gets a little 62 car key. What is he? Bounce for Special force big wins. Tough work, so I'm it out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, how stupid they are. Okay, now we're in level 62. And this is another puzzle one. You'll run to a lot of fights here, so don't think you're going to be immune to fighting. Talk to Hart here, Deputy Director of Ma uh, Deputy Mayor of Midgard. And here is the Mayor Domino, the one who condemned Shinra's plan of uh, um, blowing up Sector 7's plate. And he knows your avalanche. Oh, that's just jacked up. Okay. Once you talk to the mayor, he'll give you a guessing game. A little mini game here. Speak with heart, and he'll tell you about it. But, he's a scamster, that little prick. Yeah, give him 500 bucks. Basically, what he tells you is the same here, but no, let's save some money. On each floor, each room of these, in this floor, is a library. And each library has a certain theme. The Pink Rose, Peace Preservation, uh, Preservation and Weapons Development Research Library. Space Development Research Library. I think this one's urban or science? Scientific Research Library. And of course, 
Urban Development Library. In each of these libraries, there is a book. Each book has to correspond to a certain subject, like map of Midgar, name of monsters, blah blah blah. Here is the kicker. In each of the libraries, there's a certain book that does not match the subject. Let's take a look in some, the urban area. Play construction? No. Map of sectors 5 and 8? Nothing. Sectors 4 and 0? Map? Nothing. We have the construction chart? Nothing. Illustrate guy planning the city? Nothing. Bingo! This book does not belong in this library. Now, here's the second part of it. In each of the books that do not belong to the library, you got a number. For this one, 16. Each letter of these things, you got to uh, read out the word, the uh, letter that does, of the book that does not belong in there. So, since we got 16, we're going to go over 16 letters. M, O, E, that's 3, 6, modern 6, this, O, E, that's 7, that's... 13. M, our first letter or letter in this sentence of this password, is going to be M. Your objective here is to go through all li four libraries, find the book that doesn't match, and get a letter to figure out Domino's password. Our first letter is M. The next section, research. It differs from each game. For this library, I will go for this playthrough. I will introduce how to do it. Experimental monsters living near my uh, guard. That counts. Ranks N. Michael Reverend. I think it's K. Weapons these are here in par science. Let's take a look at the other books. The not the fourth letter, the second letter is K. Dr. Goss, biologist. That belongs here. Dense history. That belongs here. Port on Michael Lowe's in the Living Beans counts. Landjoy and Life. So, I think since it's about weaponry here that doesn't belong, the next letter, letter of the king is K. I think it's Mako, but let's make sure. The next library. Yeah, so it is K. Now here we're going to piece preservation and weaponry. Counts. Counts. Iger, similar can you see law? Breakdown of soldiers by uh, rank. Economical report, anti share activities. Mako energy and use of rifles. A. M A K. I think it's M A K. That would be par signs. Now this is space. Let's take a look. Mmm. Diminishing use of mango and planet movements. Maybe. Modern History of Space Midgar Program Volume 2. Mm -mm. Oh! What do we got here? New plans for urban development. That doesn't belong here. Let's go over 10. 3. 5. That's 8. Oh. I think it's Mako. Let's go talk to Mayor Domino. If you get it on the first try, he'll give you a good item you're going to want later on. Mako. <laughs> Power hungry. And he'll give you key card number 4065. I never thought you'd get it on first try. Shows you can't judge books by cover. And he'll give you an honest promise. The Elemental Materia. <laughs> Looks like he wants to be a freaking um, new third party. I ain't gonna help you because I want to help you. I'm gonna help you for my own goals. Okay, back to the price he gave us. Earlier, he get received multiple materials. This one's a new one. Elemental. When combined with the element uh, material, like fire, lightning, ice, etc., you'll gain the elemental properties of it. What? I just turned Cloud's Buster Sword to an Ice Blade. Or a Lightning Sword. 
kind of like that, really. How the um, change up things. Bye, I guess. Keep everybody here good. I'm gonna have Cloud keep the lightning material up for a while. Because there are gonna be a lot of electrical enemies, such as the machine, uh, hammer blaster and such. Ooh, and another puzzle. Okay. This is not a necessity, but it's pretty fun. We go to this terminal and activate the key card that we were given by Dom. We're level B, so we got about three floors we can open up. In each floor, have, sometimes in these rooms, they got a special bag, a coupon. Come in through the air ducts, it's dangerous. So we're gonna try to get all three items. It's not hard. It took me a while when I was younger to uh, try to do it. Let me make sure my path. Yeah, I did. The trick is to get into the rooms without using all of the cards. We can reset everything, but the drawback is every coupon that we grab goes back to the rooms. So what we're gonna do? All clear. Start from the beginning. Everything you receive will go back to the room. Done. Now you got three doors access. It'll take some time, but if you can figure it out, you got this puzzle. There we go. Coupon A. We're going to the duck here. Now here you'll get a little stupid. You gotta confirm your path. Blah blah blah. The minute you stop here, just tap your controller, uh, tap your button to which way you want to turn, this way right, you should be able to go down. Now, you remember the duck from the first room where we got that computer? The bomb duck here will only take you back to that room. The ducks here will take you to each individual room, so we can climb back. Coupon B. Coupon C. Alright, we got all the coupons. And that's how you get all of them. Go back to this duck. Go this way again. And now we can exchange all three coupons. But, let me give you a warning. If you guys have not grabbed all three coupons and you use the coupon change, you will not be able to use all clear and you will not be able to get the last item. Hopefully this will help you get them. A coupon will give you the accessory star pendant which protects you from poison status. B coupon gives you an item called the four slots. Pretty good, but no defense. Pretty good for defense against magic. And C will give you the all material, which once again gives you all ability. And it will warn you here saying, hey, you use this command, you're not going to use all clear anymore. So. Star pendant, four slot, all material. Okay, now we got some more armor, we got an armor material, and we got an item. Level 64, employees fitness lounge. Now in here you see employees working out and such. You can go to that machine up in the upper left corner of this room right here. You'll eat money off of you and you won't be able to get shit. You can run on this treadmill for a little bit, but I'm not sure what it does, honestly. In here, restroom. You can move on or we can rest. Let's rest. We haven't healed up. It counts as a free hotel room, if you will. Now let's save. Don't worry, I'm not gonna save until like after we get to there. Now, we'll come through here. In this first locker, you'll get a phoenix down. Yeah, there's a lot. An ether. Now in here, a megaphone. Make note of this. 
because this you're going to come back for way later in the game. It is a weapon of an air part memory you'll have by then. And to give spoilers, he has his cat seed. Anyway, let's take a look at our new equipment. Like I said, crappy defense, but very good for magic defense. Now, I said I was going to make Barret stronger, but you know what? There we go. Let's hurry up and level up some material. Well, one second, folks. I want to answer some one more time on Discord. <laughs> okay. This puzzle we have to do. Inside here is an unfinished Mako produced model of Midgar. As you can see, the model is missing five pieces to each one. The goal here is to rebuild the model with those pieces. Inside here are chests. Blah blah blah. Self-explanatory. They're locked until you open them up. I think the first one you unlock is the top. And yeah, we got boss fight. We got monsters here for that fight. But since now we got crowd. Oh no, not that one. I'm so sure I thought I had enough power. But I ain't got nothing. I mean, oh, oh Jack. I think it's the first top one here. Nope, it's this one. Yeah. Every time you put a part of the model inside the um, model itself, you'll unlock another one of those chests. The order is, I think it's up uh, the lower top chest and the lower bottom chest. And then the upper top room's chest again, and then the other top chest right now. Yeah. Only the parts that are glowing red, you re put the pieces in. You're gonna go back and forth, this will take a bit. But you know what? Screw it, let's have fun. And don't worry, there's no individual, like, Oh, I put it here, I didn't get that chest off. No. Each time you put a piece in, the next chest is unlocked. It's systematic. So it doesn't matter where you put the pieces, just put them in and then rebuild the model. Now the final chest. Damn, how they ever made that is beyond me. It looks like Materia. Well, yeah, Mako is Materia condensed. Spirit is Mako condensed to make him powerful or magic or something. Dang it! Any other bitch is Christmas. This somehow, I blame on the bird. Especially when these guys didn't offer up any weed, man. Come on, help a brother out. Nah, pardon me, folks. I hope that wasn't rude. But I digress. Anyway, get all the models repeated, and inside the room you uh, came in, the stairs, that chest will unlock. In it is the next car key you want. Oh, let's read this little dialogue here. Midgar, a sea bar from Earth's Mako, model of the sea, the construction sector 6 8, show us by the Maybe that's why he took Aerith. Okay, that I kinda have to say. 
Elmira, and even you, Cloud, said a sense are involved, not what Shiraz built. What the hell does a flower girl from the slums have to do with the building of a sectional plate? I digress. Yeah, thanks for mixing my time. Anyway, in there's a big meme with a big suit. So, we're gonna have to go in there to observe. Let's wait for our homeboy McGee there to get the hell out. Really, dude? At least you washed your hands. Go down to the stall. Ugh, he left a floater. Nah. Climb up. <laughs> Press down on your D pad and go over to this part. Well, technically, Scarlet's wearing a dress. Yeah. Damage is from Sector 7, considering the batteries were already set up and all the investments. The damage cost to make some 10 billion deal. Damn! Estimated cost to rebuild? <laughs> so you're gonna leave those guys down below? That's just messed up, Shinra. Neo Midgar, huh? Okay, there they kind of screw up. In the early release of this game, Palmer, the head of the space department, will be jumping up and down when he says, Ray Height, Ray Height, Tra La La, and please spin, you know, include the space budget in the program, in the maze program in the budget. Anyway, Reeve here starts to get more disillusioned with Shinra's plans. Hence why they destroyed it to make it look like Shimmer's a good guy while Avalanche is the villains. I agree, that dirty fuck. Parma language, folks. Ugh, I hate that guy. I hate that guy. No matter what anyone says, I am glad we get him later. If he didn't fuck with it all, everybody would have been happy. Wow. Creepy, weird, and has a fetish for a crossbreed. Yeah. Not all there, Hojo. Yeah, you spelled your breath lately there, Scarlet. Just go back the way you came, and that's it. Now, just go through this way. You can go in that room, but there's nothing in there. Fall trenchy there. Okay, I don't get it. These guys are wanted. They're known to be terrorists, yet every single employee of the Shinra building must have seen the faces of these guys. Hey, if you don't raise the alarm that he's they're there, there's logic in that. Oh god, it gives me a heebie jeebies. Now, if you guys played Crisis Core, you know that's complete BS. Cloud would have saw him if he blacked out after being. after taking out Sephiroth, but. 
Please be soldiers. Please be soldiers. Please be soldiers. Ugh, no. Folks, I hate to do this to y'all, but I'm going to be running around here a couple of times back and forth. If there's an enemy here, I want to fight, and I want to show you how to get a new weapon for Cloud sooner than you think. Hide. Hide. Okay, how can this guy be blind? Cloud's like right there, not even hiding too much. You see the spikes there. How can you not blind? What you got there, Cloud? Genova. This is where I really got the spooks from this game. The heartbeat. Aw, oh, man. They screwed up the soundtrack. It would still have that little... Tune. The dark tune that was playing before you saw Genova's body. Oh. That had a hurt. Must be a migraine. Where's his fucking head? <laughs> okay. We're gonna run around here a little bit, folks. I hate to say it, because there's a monster. There's a couple of enemies here I want to uh, hunt down and kill. Don't worry, you won't be joining alarms. But I want to fight a couple soldier third classes here because they got a weapon here for Cloud. Hard edge. I just wait to get to spawn. It takes a while. They're in this world. Oh, and up here, the poison material. Pretty good for elemental damages against them. Not pretty good against the machines. I'm gonna try a couple more battles, folks. If I don't find any soldier third class here, I'm gonna move on to the next fight. Your next part is just to go into that room. Don't worry, we'll go in there a few seconds. Right now, I really want to try to get a hold of any monsters, uh, any soldier third class, uh, third class monsters. You'll know who they are. They look exactly like that. Uh -huh. Ha! 
carbon mango. There we go. Powerful armor. Way more strong for the other. I knew there was a reason why I was stealing from those guys. God. Anyway, carbon mango's very handy. Use your link slot and one to add on. See that? Slings are poison. Okay. Oh, I don't like sensing clouds, so we're gonna get 